We're going to find the measure of angles formed by intersecting lines. This problem is considered a multi-step problem because we're not simply looking for the vertical angles and able to figure out the angle measurements based off the vertical angles. Now we need to use a little bit more information. For example, we have our two straight lines, MN and QP. And then we also have another ray, OR, coming off of that vertex O, which is going to complicate our vertical angles just a little bit. So the first thing to do for this problem is to identify the vertical angles. Here we have a vertical angle at QON, and its congruent vertical angle is MOP. These are vertical angles. Now we have the same thing in the opposite direction. I'm going to use two arcs to show that these vertical angles are congruent to each other, but not congruent to the other two vertical angles. And here we show that these opposite angles here, MOQ, which I'm going to make a note of up here, is going to be congruent to PON. So that's MOQ, is this whole angle right here, is going to be congruent to PON. Well, PON is actually where angle A is, which is going to be helpful for us when we try to solve for that missing angle measurement. And we already know the measure of MOQ. We know that the measure here of ROQ is 48 degrees, and the measure here of MOR is 90 degrees. So the sum of these two angle measurements gives us angle MOQ. So I'm going to write that down, 90 degrees plus 48 degrees. And if we add those up, that gives us the whole measure MOQ, which will also be the same angle measurement for angle A, which means that angle A is going to equal 138 degrees.